Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic I want to discuss is uh, Sitecore developer or .NET developer in 2024. When I say .NET developer, .NET developer means in terms of Sitecore ecosystem. So I keep getting this question a lot from different developers, mainly like, okay, I'm a Sitecore developer. I've been working on Sitecore platform for a while. What is next? And or I'm a .NET developer. Is it good time to learn Sitecore? So I'll try to answer the two questions in this video. And little disclaimer, this is, I mean, these are completely my views, not my employers or anyone else. So, and also I'll not try to be a diplomatic answer. I'll try to give it straight. Okay. So let's get started. Mainly, so Sitecore ecosystem has evolved a lot. So in terms of technology. So previously we used to work on um, Sitecore ASP.NET ASP.NET web forms, then next ASP.NET MVC, then there is SXA, JSS, and then uh, currently headless services, everything. So overall the infrastructure wise also, you used to get like own racks and servers to host, then infrastructure as a service in the cloud, as a VMs, and then you have a platform as a service. Now, more DXP, digital experience platform market is towards SaaS platforms. So Sitecore also has a lot of uh, SaaS platforms out there, less SaaS products. So started from Content Hub, a lot of acquisitions, Box Ever, and uh, Moose End, and Sitecore Discover, and newly implemented Sitecore XM Cloud. It has been there for a while now. So what is the difference between like how we used to implement the solutions before? So a few years back, if you are a .NET developer, if you are coming into Sitecore, um, you have your .NET skills. Maybe you have you know MVC, you have a C Sharp, you know how to work with Visual Studio, and you have IAS and all these skills, maybe database and all. Then you just learn Sitecore, or all template renderings and all these things. Then you could still use all your .NET skills because you are still implementing controllers, you are still implementing views, you are still implementing sometimes integrations, all these things. So previously, when you were a .NET developer, learning Sitecore was an addition to your skills. You were not completely uh, learning a new platform altogether. I mean to say a uh, new way of coding or anything like that. But the more and more nowadays, so when you are moving to Sitecore XM Cloud, especially in the SaaS world, you could implement a solution uh, anyway, because it is decoupled from the uh, Sitecore product as well as your implementation, client's implementation. So now you got a multiples of choice like um, headless services as like big umbrella and under that you have a JSS JavaScript services and one side you have a Sitecore rendering SDK, I mean .NET Core rendering SDK. Then you have other side is the JavaScript services, which again comes under like React, Angular, Vue, Next.js. So you could build solutions among all these, which is in, which is a good in a way because you don't need to decouple, uh, sorry, you, you don't need to stick to the same system or same technology like your site code. Like we used to stick with ASP and WC. But obviously you have more choices then your developer requirement also widens. So now, previously, whenever we ask for Sitecore developer, the most probably they would have come out of .NET ecosystem because they were .NET developers before and they learn Sitecore and they become Sitecore developers. But now we can implement solutions in varied front-end ways as well like React, Next.js and all. So your developer pool is increased. Now I can recruit a React or Next.js or uh, Angular or Vue.js developer and again, they can get familiarized with Sitecore and they can work on the projects. So that is a big change nowadays. So also the technology landscape is changing, right? You have a Docker container, obviously front-end guys or back-end guys. And also you have GitOps, you have uh, Vercel, Netlify, different, different hosting platforms for uh, 
this um, front end solutions so all this brings in um, change into dotnet developers role in the sidecar world so to put it simply if you are a dotnet developer you want to learn sidecar you have to learn any of these uh, react or angular view these platforms plus sidecar then you can become a sidecar developer compared to previously you can just learn sidecar and just move on to the platform which is a big difference now and also if you are a sidecar seasoned developer now you are saying you are only stick to back end like all the while even if it, even when there is a jss maybe you have not got chance to work on those projects or maybe maybe you have not preferred to work on those projects so it is high time you have to learn that uh, react or angular all these skills so cross platform cross skilling you, if you are stick just sticking to dotnet and you want to be on site code uh, sorry to say maybe not relevant anymore maybe relevant still for one one and a half years down the road down the road but may not be relevant anymore okay i can say that okay in xm cloud also i can use the site core dot i mean dot net core rendering sdk yes we can use but again you have to take that with pinch of salt how many implementations are starting on the platform even though site core says okay i support all the platforms but how many platforms are sorry how many implementations are starting on um, dot net core and uh, i don't know it just brings me brings me back to my fresher i mean when i was a fresher in back in 2010 when we were learning dot net we had two options you could implement a solution in c sharp i mean you could implement you could learn the programming c sharp same visual studio microsoft dot net framework also you could learn vb dot net and uh, obviously dot net framework supports both of them but obviously you see how i mean how many projects were there in vb.net how many projects were there in c sharp so i feel the same way when someone says oh you could implement uh, .net core rendering sdk solutions as well in site core xm cloud yes it is possible but tell me how many solutions are going to be implemented so that's uh, one thing so to put it simply if you are a .net developer if you want to learn a uh, embrace the front end tech stack then come on to dot net uh, come on to sidecar or any dxp platforms if you are a sidecar season developer you still want to be in the dxp ecosystem uh, learn um, react or angular or one of the front end framework otherwise uh, those would be very closing very soon and tell me how many job openings out there across the world how many job opening job description posts out there without jss or without any front end framework mentioned and also i'll just leave a thought for you if you say uh, obviously sidecar xp is not dead yet sidecar is still supporting it if you consider your career as a business would you bet your career or your business on sidecar xp and still implementing dotnet mvc projects and maybe if this can work out it would be much better if you can be a platform agnostic developer like you can learn one front end skill one front end platform which are next year is no, no most popular and also learn multiple uh, sidecar umbra co kentic or any other ecosystems uh, dxp platforms that would be much better because your options would be much wider obviously not possible for everyone because you might be getting certain projects but i will leave you for it so that's all for this video it just a uh, my mind on the current sidecar ecosystem for developers thank you for watching see you next time